Why is it that your book marketing is falling short? You're trying to implement as many of the tricks and tips the experts recommend, but few of your marketing tactics are gaining traction. Sure, you haven't tried everything yet, but you've tried enough to move the needle at least a smidge, right? There's no question that building a strong platform takes time and gaining momentum, even with a sound marketing plan, requires persistence and patience, but something just isn't jiving. I'm Kimberly Grabis, writer, entrepreneur, and the founder of YourWriterPlatform.com, where I help a growing international community of thousands of rising authorpreneurs build a business around their writing while increasing their visibility, influence, and reach. And in this video, we'll employ two vital steps to help you build and grow your platform and writing career without spinning your wheels. A solid structure needs a strong and stable foundation. And what authors often do is rush to build their platform without first laying a proper footing. So each time you add another tactic, another strategy, another layer of your marketing plan, the framework becomes more unstable and things start to fall apart. Methods that should make an impact produce less than stellar results and effort wasted and wheel spinning, frustrated authors conclude that it's not marketing, but luck that produces standout success for best-selling authors. Is this a fair assessment? No, and here's why. Without developing a solid underpinning, there will be little strength or support for anything that comes after. So to ensure that you have the most stable of bases for your platform and marketing framework, there are two things that you must do. And if done thoroughly, completing these two tasks will not only have a marked effect on your book marketing results, but will make the marketing process itself much less painful. Before you do anything to promote yourself or your work, you must be able to articulate plainly, succinctly, and without hesitation why you write what you write and who cares that you write it. So it's time to roll up your sleeves and dig deep into who you are, what you stand for, and why you create the work that you do and for whom you are creating it. Number one, know yourself. People will give you very little time to make an impression, whether it's via your website, on social media, uh, while scrolling and clicking on Amazon, or even browsing in a bookstore, you have but a moment to grab their attention. And even with the most irresistible book cover, the most articulate sales copy, or the most fascinating website, the odds are statistically small that you'll be noticed in today's caterwauling of buy my book. So imagine how much more difficult it is to capture attention and convince a reader to purchase when even you can't provide a reason why they should. In Simon Sinek's book, Start With Why, How Great Leaders Inspire Everyone to Take Action, he discusses the concept of the golden circle. It's a framework that outlines a pattern or relationship between the what, how, and why of an organization and how these concepts play into the level of connection, loyalty, and influence a business has with its customers. He uses this model to demonstrate how great leaders inspire action because of their ability to share their reason for being. So according to Simon, it's easy to explain what you do, a little trickier to explain how you do it, and rare if you can clearly express why you do what you do. Those that can explain their why enjoy a much higher level of engagement from the people they wish to lead or the customers they choose to serve. So how is this relevant to writers building their platform? Your why is what makes you unique and when clearly defined, allows your readers to emotionally connect with you and your work. And Increased emotional connections lead to increased trust and loyalty. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. So for the average writer, this is their golden circle. What you do. So write fiction, nonfiction, novellas, articles, poetry, web copy, and so on. How you do it? Your difference from your competitors. So in marketing speak, it's your unique selling proposition or what makes your work distinct from other writers in your field. And why you do it? 
This is a purpose or belief. It's why you get up at 5 a.m. to squeeze in your daily word count, why you write around your day job, family, and other obligations, why you write despite the, the pitying looks <laughs> from new acquaintances when you reveal, I am a writer. It's the meaning and message behind your work and the piece to the puzzle that you need to solve that once determined, eliminates the need to continually try to differentiate yourself. Will your why resonate with all possible audiences? No, but those it does meld with will be your rabid fans, your community, your tribe. So without clearly expressing why you are doing what you do, you are left with trying to prove your advantage or significance based on marketing tactics alone. Glowing testimonials, a list of credentials, or five-star reviews may help woo a reader, but disconnected from your why won't build loyalty and trust. Forming a community and experience around a common set of beliefs and values will. So people who believe in your why will read your book, subscribe to your email list, comment on and share your posts, support your work, and be inspired to spread the word. Instead of asking, what should I do to compete? The question must be asked, why did I start doing what I'm doing in the first place? And what can I do to bring my cause to life, considering all the technologies and market opportunities available today? But here's the hitch. You can't invent or copy your why. It must be authentic for it to resonate with people. And that quality alone makes it unique to you. Copying other writers doesn't work but studying other successful authors does. So you can research how other popular writers are making a connection with their readers, then tweak and apply what jives with your personal message. And once you are uber clear as to your reason for why you do what you do, then it is much easier to share that vision with your potential readers and weave it through the rest of your marketing strategies. Your work is the embodiment of not only what you care about, but also what your readers care about. Everything that you share with your audience going forward must stem from this core concept. Number two, know your audience. Now that you've identified and can express why you are creating the work that you are, it's much easier to identify the group of people that will be most receptive to your message. So who are you writing for? Consider this scenario. You've just published your new sci-fi unicorn mystery thriller with a touch of romance, mint julep and want to shout it from the rooftops. You settle for blasting its release ad nauseum on every social media platform that will have you. And even though you know that every author says this truly, this book is for everyone. Really? Even one of the best-selling books of all time, you know, the Bible, isn't for everyone. So be before you try to market your magnum opus to the world, Take the time to determine who specifically will receive the most benefit from your work. Besides, how can you possibly know if your book is right for someone if you know nothing about them? How does it further your goals or the potential readers for you to push a book on them that they may have no interest in, receive no benefit from, or worse, that they may have some issue with? So how will it serve you or your audience to have your book read and likely reviewed or critiqued by the wrong audience? And of course, the big question for writers, how do you develop a marketing and book promotion plan when you have no idea who you're trying to reach? So don't give yourself a migraine trying to promote to anyone with a pulse. Even the most skilled marketers narrow the field to give themselves a fighting chance. So instead, flirt with the advice of Jeff Bezos, founder and CEO of Amazon.com, and become obsessed with your readers. When given the choice of obsessing over competitors or obsessing over customers, we always obsess over customers. Learn everything you can about your future readers. What other authors and genres do they read and enjoy? How are they connecting with their favorites online? What questions are they asking on other sites? What questions are they asking on your site? Uh, what topics are they most interested in? What kind of conversations do they have? And what language do they use? Is there a lingo or insider catchphrase that only those in the know will understand? And who do they consider as resources for their next read, inside information, hot new releases, or genre specific news? Where and how do they purchase what they read? And in what format? Then you can determine who does your work help? 
Whose problems can you solve? What are their pain points? How do they see themselves? And how does your book fit with that perception? What do they crave? What groups share similar interests and values? How is information shared with others in their group? And who already speaks your language? Or conversely, whom does your work speak to? I have yet to meet a writer who isn't also an avid reader. So look at your own habits, influencers, and experiences. What do you want from your favorite authors? Where do you get your tips for new reads? And where do you tend to congregate when you want to chat with like-minded individuals about the books that you read? As you gather more and more information about your audience, be careful to stay connected to your reasons for sharing the work that you do and focus on only those topics that are relevant to the community that you're building. As you get to know your audience, what they need and want from you in the form of content should become easier and easier to define. As you get to know yourself, it should become easier and easier to provide it. So accomplish these two things and you'll have created a solid footing from which to build trust, engagement, and a much more effective promotional strategy. Without this base, you're making your marketing job much more difficult than it needs to be. Have you skipped these vital two steps on your road to building the ultimate writer platform? Do you think clearly defining your why and the audience you intend to market to will make things easier or more difficult? Make sure that you leave a comment below and let me know if this made sense to you. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos I create for you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to join the Your Writer Platform Insiders List to receive the free quick start guide to building your writer platform, exclusive content via email, and instant access to a growing library of downloadable resources. Thank you so much for watching.